what's going on YouTube horror here and I'm gonna be bringing you guys a uh, tutorial on physical sky so uh, open up cinema 4d and once it opens up and yeah this is what it'll look like but um I'm gonna open up a uh, a project that I've already done And I'm gonna open up I'm gonna open up this. Um I did this a little bit um uh, I did it probably two weeks ago or so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to do physical sky. Physical physical sky is not that complicated really. So what I have now I'm just gonna turn it off so I can you know show you guys what to do so uh, the physical sky is off as you can see so what you're gonna wanna do is go to objects sky create sky okay now have this selected basic and then check atmosphere go to sky check use warm colors go to sun check use warm colors now let's go to time and location and this is where it all gets kind of um, you know personal preference really like I mean you can do different times of the month uh, the different years you can actually do your time right now which would be 520 for me um, you can do the date you can actually do cities that's pretty cool but I mean really this is all customizable so I mean really it depends on where you want your lighting to go what you want the timing to be what you want the sunset to look like if you want the sun there dark with stars what not you can have it so now if um because right now I have the camera locked if I have it zoomed out to where it's not locked zoom out the reason why it's kinda laggy like this is because uh, there's so much so much stuff on this file so if you go to where you can rotate you can actually move where you want the shadows to be like before it was dead on now it's kind of at an angle but I'm gonna go back to how it was before because that actually looked pretty good so I'm gonna go back to the regular camera and actually it looks pretty good right now as it is so I'm gonna kinda render this real quick and I this might take a little bit but I kinda just want you guys to see a little bit of this I actually have this as my background and you can see that you don't see like the cloud shadow on here which doesn't make it look as realistic like on this physical sky when I render it out it's a little different I it's I changed the camera or not the camera angle the sky angle so the lighting would be a little different so now in, on these mountains here you can't see the high air balloon, the clouds, you can't see those shadows you only see the actual shadows you'd see in real life I mean the the hot air balloon might be there but might not be but th on this background I have I have a sign here with my name and you can actually see it there you see this shadow here you see all these shadows you can actually see the hot air balloon here so what that tells you is the lighting was coming from this angle here like this and obviously a little kind of behind because the hot air balloon is over here so I mean that tells you how to angle it what, however you really want the uh, shadows to be positioned the time location all that you can all uh, change customizably sometimes it'll take a while for you guys to get good lighting 
And also, I mean, CCs in Photoshop and a little bit of editing can make the lighting even look better instead of monkeying around with it in Cinema 4D trying to get a perfect image. So, yeah, guys, that's about it I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, if it did, leave a thumbs up. Maybe a comment down below what you'd like the next tutorial to be. But, uh, yeah, guys, horror here.